Hey there, Tim the Tip Man here. You know what you're not thinking about when you go get your coffee in the morning through a drive-thru? You're not thinking about your nutsack. But look, maybe you should, because hot coffee burns in drive throughs are burning people's nutsacks in America from coast to coast and all other genitalia. Coffee doesn't really discriminate. It can burn your wee-wees, it can burn your hoo-haws, it can burn your no-nos, it can burn your tee-tees, chimichangas, and your yum-yums, and your mimis, and your uh, uh, pizza, uh, pizza, your private parts. If you think the hot coffee lawsuit stopped after that McDonald's case in like the 90s where the lady got a million bucks and Toby Keith tried to call her out. If you think that's where it all stopped, you're completely wrong. You're also wrong if you think that the problem is that the coffee's too hot. Hot coffee has to be served hot. It has to get brewed hot. And you're holding it over your private parts every single time you go through a drive-through. We're talking temperatures of like 180 degrees. I'm just trying to get a hot cup of coffee, but now I'm thinking about my nut tech. All it takes is one stupid little mistake from Larry's coffee bar and hipster joint to totally end your bloodline where it lies. So here's to hoping that your nut sack remains securely in place the next time you go to get your daily dose of caffeine in a drive-thru.